Hi, I'm Greg Denny. I just recently celebrated my 38th birthday, and uh, we're here in France, just living this epic life that we love so much that we've been intentional about creating. And I remembered that 21 years ago, it was my 17th birthday, I was totally alone. I had grown up in a broken family, as some of you know, and I ended up out on my own. And those were hard, hard times and desperate times. And, and I remember the loneliness being so painful and so depressing. And, and I think the best word is, is desperate. I was just, oh, it was the, the desperation. I, I wanted a family. I wanted friends. I wanted a life that I just loved, that I was excited to wake up to instead of dreading to come back into consciousness in the morning. You're just like, ah, oh, man, life sucks. And, and I, was, I was broke, and I was living in, in rotten areas around people doing terrible things. But desperation, as bad as it was, was one of the things I'm most grateful for because desperation drives us to do the things that must be done. And I think that's the one thing that so many people are missing. Or at least they're desperate, but they haven't made the switch of like, wait a minute, when is this going to be enough that I'm going to say, I'm changing. I'm going to live differently. Right? One of my all-time favorite authors, James Allen, read his all his works. He said, men and women are Anxious to change their circumstances, but unwilling to change themselves. And they therefore remain bound. Boom, right? Because they're not desperate enough. And so I want to challenge you, get desperate. Get to that point where you're like, okay, enough is enough. You want to have phenomenal health. Get desperate enough. To stop eating crap. Stop putting garbage in your body and get out and run. You guys, I went running today in, in my Zero shoes. I wear these little Zero shoe sandals, X-E-R-O, Zero shoes. I love them. And these, the hills here in the mountains in France, just oh, gunning it up and down these hills. It was tough. It's awesome but because I'm desperate to be in great shape for my whole life. Right? And to be ripped. And to feel energized and alive, which I do, and I eat phenomenally. Get desperate enough to change your circumstances by changing yourself. What do you need to change in uh, your mindset, in your thinking patterns, your limiting beliefs? Get desperate enough to change your mind, to change your endophagia. Get desperate enough to stop watching so much TV and start reading great books, right? Go find the best books out there. We have a phenomenal starters list, the best hundred for, for youth and for adults on worldschoolacademy.com. Go to resources and, and look at that list. Read them all and then read way more. I got a thousand books you should read. Get desperate enough to set aside the entertainment, set aside the fluff, to get up early, to stay up late, to get a phenomenal education. I get up early every morning, and I stay up late reading, and I, I listen to audiobooks while I was running. I finished another great book today. Get desperate enough to, to educate yourself. Get desperate enough to develop those skills, the talents. Get the knowledge you need for a better career that you love, one that pays more. One that's more fulfilling. Get desperate enough to make a change in the world. To, to make a difference in somebody's life. Get desperate enough in, in empathy and in, in concern that you go out and help people that are really suffering. Rachel and I are, are planning some epic stuff this year to help the refugees. It's going to be incredible, so stay posted for that. We're going to go to where they're coming through, and we're going to do what we can to help and bring awareness. Get desperate enough. Don't wait until your marriage is falling apart. You're, you're, you're about to get a divorce before you get desperate enough to make your marriage awesome.
to save it, to save your family. Don't neglect your children for so long that then they're in such a mess and finally desperation hits and now you have to send them to rehab centers and, and youth camps to try to bring them back. Don't wait that long. Get desperate enough now to, to make the sacrifices and make the commitments to really be a, a fantastic husband and father or wife or mother. Get desperate enough spiritually to find God and change your life. Get desperate enough to have the faith you need to, to do incredible things. Let that desperation come. Feel it. I hope you feel it right now. And just, just let it in your life and say, okay, no more. And you're, you're willing to make those drastic changes in your life to bring about the things you want. Most people, I think Henry Thoreau is right. Most people lead lives of quiet desperation and go to their grave with their song still in them. Don't let that be you. Don't live in that quiet desperation. Get desperate enough to get out of it, to sing your song, to do the thing you were born to do. Oh, isn't this exciting? I love this stuff. And I know I'm a little intense with you right now, but I want you to feel that desperation and, and enough that it drives you to do what needs to be done. To stop talking about it, stop dreaming, you know, just dreaming about it, wishing about it, and start doing it. Start building that life. Start doing the things you know you need to do. Live an epic story. There's no need to live an okay life and a mediocre existence. Live an epic story, but get desperate so you make it happen. And you might be saying, man, I feel desperate, but what do I do? And that's, you guys, that's my purpose. That's my song, is to help you become your very best self, to reach your full potential. So if you want more about that, visit gregdenning.com or worldschoolacademy.com. Put in your name and email there. Let me send you great resources, proven strategies that over the last 21 years, I've been studying voraciously and applying in my life to live an epic life and become my very best self. Try to make a really great difference in this world. You can do it too. You deserve to live an awesome life. To be so happy, you can hardly stand it. You deserve that. And you can have it. Reach up.